Want to know how to change the direction of your slider doors? Yes, yes! Well then keep watching for this step-by-step -step tutorial. And at the end of the video, I'll share a featured blooper. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. This lighter was designed to have the main opening on this side, but you can see the couch is in the way, so we wanted to flip it. First, we need to remove the glass panels. We're going to loosen this screw here, and each panel has a screw on either side. By loosening the screw, it will pull up the wheel inside the door, and you will see the door slowly drop down. This will give us the space to pull the slider panel off the track. To remove the glass panels, you will need to raise the door up into the top track and then tilt the bottom of the door out. Then lower the door down to release it from the top track and then it will be free to move it. When you are setting your panels to the side, keep in mind or label the panels so you will reinstall them in the correct reverse order. So now Tyler is working on the middle panel. We're loosening the, that bottom wheel again, the screws on both sides. Just be careful as you loosen that screw, you know, the wheels are retracting into the slider, which makes the entire pane fall down. Now you just want to keep an eye on that top track to make sure it doesn't go completely out and possibly fall out while you're still down there. So loosen the bottom, but also have a second pair of eyes to keep a watch on the top track. These doors are super heavy. If Ty would let me help him, I would, but I recommend that, that it takes two people to move these glass panels. For the innermost panel, Tyler had me on the other side, just in case the top panel would fall into the house. With all the panels out, it is a perfect time to clean your slider to glass doors and your track. Okay, so now that um, we're ready to put the glass panels in, you're gonna work in reverse order. So you wanna put in the most interior glass panel first. So the one that's on the inside track, then the middle, then the outside. Tilt the door and place it in the upper track first. Then you will be able to set it on your bottom track. Once in place, have one person hold the panel for safety so it won't move as the other person tightens the bottom screws to bring the wheels back onto the track. The bottom screws will also be your adjustment for how well your slider glides. Test your slider and either loosen or tighten the bottom screws accordingly. Now repeat with the middle panel. Tilt the glass into the upper second track and drop it into the bottom second track. Place the middle panel overlapping your interior glass because there's an interlock on it to catch the other panel as you open and close it. Then adjust your bottom screws and test the glide. Now repeat for your third panel. Tilt the glass into the upper third track and drop it into the bottom third track. Like the middle panel, you want to make sure your glass is overlapping when you place it onto your track. Next, adjust your bottom screws and test the glide. Now we need to move this door latch from the first track to the third track. You can see the channel already has perforated dots to help us line this up. These screws are also designed to drill through the channel. I find it easier to drill the top screw in first, but do not tighten all the way so you can adjust it later. Open and close your slider to adjust where the latch needs to be and tighten your screws. Then test that your lock works and repeat for the other side. Then we need to move this door from the third track to the first. Remove the door latch hardware and reinstall it on the first track. 
Test your slider to make sure the latch lines up with your door. Here's the finished product. Now the door opens on the correct side for my room layout. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or click here for an entire playlist. And don't forget to watch the blooper at the end and I will see you guys in the next video.